Hey, what's up everybody? It's Andrew with Run Guns. And today I have a pretty cool unboxing I'm gonna be doing today. This is the SDS Imports Lynx 12. I've been eyeballing this for a little bit now. And honestly, I finally found the right price, so I pulled the trigger on it. And at the time of this video, you know, I don't like to get prices out too much. A lot of people don't, but you know, I always get curious personally. So basically I was able to pick this up for an astonishing deal of 375 plus shipping. I think it came out to exactly 399 which is I think one hell of a deal for this type of rifle. So what this is, for y'all who don't know, this is basically a shotgun, AK-47, or an AK-47 chambered in 12 gauge. So this is how it comes. I haven't shot this yet or anything, obviously. So it does come with a little bit of Chinese grease on it. And it is made in China, as you see right there. And it's basically like, some people call it a Sega 12 clone. And you can see, very greasy on this side. But this is the chrome, hard, hard chrome bolt version, which a lot of the typical versions are not. And this version is discontinued. So it's kind of an upgrade. I think it costs like 20, 30 bucks more, at least MSRP wise. But I was able to pick it up, like I said, for a good deal, 375. This gun, I think retail is 550. And then with a hard chrome bolt it was like maybe 570 or something like that. But you know, for 375, I really couldn't pass it up. So I've been eyeballing for a little bit and now I finally got it. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about it, but I just wanna show you guys first what comes in the box. You guys check that out. So pretty simple, nothing too crazy. Here in the front, we can see here, comes with a standard uh, five round magazine, obviously by SDS Imports. So y'all can see that there. And it's just, you know, five round. 12 gauge magazine for it. So nothing too crazy. We'll put this off to the side with our magazines. You could already see I went shopping, but let's see. And simply our owner's manual. So you're gonna get your owner's manual as well. I definitely still have to go through this. Haven't gone through it yet, but I could give you guys a couple, you know, fast stats on the gun in case you guys are curious. So what you get here is a 19 inch barrel it's hard chrome lined as you can see it does come threaded on the end so you could put a muzzle device on it i actually just started bidding on a muzzle device so hopefully i win it if i do you know i'll show you guys definitely in some future vids um i think the recoil is manageable from what i was able to read online but you know definitely a muzzle device makes a huge difference and definitely helps you stay on target a lot more easier now this all these parts you know for the most part are interchangeable with the sega which is awesome there's a lot of pieces out there i don't know if you all notice this right here, you could actually manipulate it, you know, with your trigger finger, which is nice. So you could manipulate it here pretty easily. So that's a pretty nice addition. It does have a last round hold open button, which is really nice and very convenient for these styles of rifles. So you can see it's right here on the bottom. Just press that. And I got my bolt hold open, you know, conveniently there available. And it just makes for easier reloads. So that's always a nice feature to have available. You know, it should be pretty nice to run. I'm kind of looking forward to taking it out. It does have this little optics rail here as well, which I will be adding obviously an optic. It does have like a V rear and then a bead in the front. I'm not sure if you all could see that pretty well, but that's the kind of uh, iron sights basically that you're running on it. Obviously I'm gonna be putting a red dot, so it should be nice. I do want to upgrade it and I want to really want to trick this out. So I do plan on upgrading the trigger. I'm putting a probably Magpul handguard. Like I said, I'm gonna be doing that a muzzle device on the end. I do want to get a foldable stock on the back, probably the Magpul you want for the AK. I think it should be a cool addition to it. So probably for the trigger, I'll be doing like an ALG trigger, but let's see how it is stock. And there's the reset right there. Actually not too bad. You know, the action does feel a little bit rough. It's not the smoothest. I definitely feel like I have to break it in. Also clean it up, you know, all this grease on here and everything, I'm gonna definitely clean that. So anyways, I did pick up some magazines and this is all from SDS. This is not like some aftermarket parts. This is all specifically from SDS. And as you can see here, it's compatible with a few other types like the Cheetah 12 or the Sega 12, obviously. And this is their clear version. So I picked up a few clear ones. I thought those were pretty cool, but I don't know. Sometimes the clear magazines, they kind of sacrifice on their durability. So I did pick up a black one just to compare, just to see if there's a difference. I did get it from Classic and this came broken in the back. I don't know why, but whatever, it's a magazine. Shouldn't be a big deal. So as you can see, obviously I got a few of the clear ones 
And then what's really cool is that fix this up MD20. So this is a 20 round magazine and these are pretty famously, you know, known for reliability. They are discontinued. So get them while you still can. They are still available on the market, but you know, that's coming and going pretty quickly. So honestly, I picked those up if you had the opportunity to do so. Another thing I kind of wanted to mention is that at the timing of this video, there is a Chinese trade war going on. And I'm not sure if that's going to affect the cost or the importation of these rifles going in the future. So hopefully by the time you see this video, that's a thing of the past, but it's kind of a concern. And I was actually considering, you know, whether maybe this gun would actually go up in cost or not because of that trade war. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just a fantasy and nothing else is going to happen. But, you know, still something to consider. You know, political things always do affect the cost of firearms. But anyways, got two 20 round drums and I got these. Should be more enough to get me started. Now, this does have a four position gas system that you could easily adjust so that you could run different types of loads. From what I understand, you could pretty much run anything through this gun and it should run on the proper gas setting. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna take it to the range and I'm gonna do some testing with it definitely in a future vid. This is just the unboxing vid, however. Now, in going through some of the reviews on this thing, I was looking online and people were saying a few different things about it that were a little bit concerning. Uh, people were saying that obviously it's gonna be a lower quality than the Sega 12, uh, but you have to keep in mind that this is actually made in a factory that made the Type 56 AK-47 for over 50 years. So the fact that they've been able to accomplish that over such a long period of time kind of makes you think like these guys are experts in making the AK. So I don't have too many concerns with quality per se, but you know, that's yet to be determined until I take it out to the range and find out. So another concern that I was reading in the reviews is some people were saying that the bolt actually broke on them, which made me want to get the hard chrome bolt version. It made me think, hey, is there a reason why these guys are doing a hard chrome bolt version or not? And I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but someone said the bolt literally broke. Now it does have a one year warranty for the first year, obviously when you get it, but you know, it's not gonna last you forever. So you definitely want something that's gonna be of uh, good durability and it's gonna work properly. This feels pretty rough and feels like I definitely need to break it in. So hopefully I can do that soon. I do wanna get it all tricked out and I will show you guys obviously when I do that in the future. But this is it for now. I just wanted to do a quick unboxing. Hope you guys like this video. Like, share, subscribe. If you have any questions about this, definitely leave it down below. And I hope to do some cool videos with this in the future. And for the cost, like I said, I think it's well worth it. Uh, especially literally $375 plus shipping. It was $399 shipped. All these other things I got with it. Pretty cool. Kind of expensive and expensive. Like the drums, for example. Probably the most expensive thing I got for it. And the muzzle device. Hopefully, if I get it, it's an authentic Russian muzzle device. That's supposed to be really good. So hopefully I'm able to win that in my bidding, but I'm not bidding too hard on it because there's a couple other models devices out there that I'm pretty interested in as well. So that's pretty much it for now. If you guys like this video, like, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one with WRG, out.